I'm going to explain the hydraulics on our grapple. Here is the hydraulic pump from the tractor and coming out on this port here is the pressure out from the pump and then that line goes to this hose here. This hose comes up and used to go on to the loader valve to operate the front end loader but we moved that hose and put it onto the grapple valve here and then coming out of the grapple valve is the power beyond port and from the power beyond port that delivers pressurized hydraulic fluid to the grapple valve so the grapple, uh, loader valve so loader and grapple may be operated at the same time and lastly the return port on the grapple valve is teed into down here the return port on the loader valve and that goes down to the tank and to the return and there's the four color coded work ports here that go down the boom two of which on the rotator operate rotation in either direction and then the other two hoses supply fluid that goes through the rotator and comes out the axle of the rotator two ports to operate the extend and retract on the cylinder since the hydraulic fluid for the cylinders goes through the rotator and comes out the axle there is no hydraulic hoses between the two units to get tangled up as the unit rotates which allows continuous rotation in either direction both the extend and retract ports coming from the rotator go into flow dividers which proportion the hydraulic flow 50-50 between one cylinder and the other this is so that the jaws can open and close at the same rate. The last two components to be added to the supply hoses will be quick attaches so the entire grapple assembly itself can be removed from the tractor via the quick attach plate. And secondly, a four-way relief valve on the two cylinder hoses because the cylinders are rated at a lower hydraulic pressure than the rotator. And that just about sums up all the hydraulics that are that have been fabricated and made to operate this grapple.